Hi, I'm David Victor, president of American Educational Institute. We are on set. Uh, it is the summer or spring, really, of 2019. And I'm here with a, uh, a, a AEI favorite, uh, Dr. Lewis Koritsky, who is familiar to most of you watching this, I assume. What you may not have known is that we actually trade clothing. So, um, so in all seriousness, because his talks actually are serious, and, and, and they're among the uh, most valuable in our series every year. Uh, Lou is about to tape a talk on new CDC screening guidelines for hep C. That's about as deep as I can go since I'm not a clinician. Lou is. Let him go a little deeper with you. Go ahead, Lou. Well, David, I'm glad that you invited me to talk about hepatitis C because the management of hepatitis C is really a missed opportunity that clinicians don't knock on the door of often enough. Ten years ago, we were instructed to look for hepatitis C in people who had recognized risk factors, intravenous drug users, men who had sex with men, yeah. people who had early blood transfusion. But we only discovered literally a small portion of persons who really still carry the virus. So in the last few years, the CDC has changed their position. They've recognized that they want to destigmatize this because people who did use drugs 30, 40, 50 years ago, they don't want to talk about it now, and they t tend to not disclose that information. So CDC has recommended that everybody born between 1945 and 65 be screened because 75% of the people who have hepatitis C today live in that age group. And we'll talk about the reasons why. What good is it just to find out that people have it? Well, we can now achieve a cure in over 90% of the people and save the downstream consequences like cirrhosis or even worse, right. hepatocellular carcinoma. Well, it sounds like a valuable talk, Lou, per usual. Uh, to see the whole talk, which goes much more in depth, of course, than what you just heard, uh, I encourage you to uh, enroll for the course. Thanks.